pleasure to have you along for the ride, ladies and gentlemen. We're live from Memphis, where they're noted for their fine music. But tonight, it's all about WWE. We've waited long enough. Let's get this thing started. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. Samoa Joe appears to be in no mood tonight, guys. Like, well, I think it's pretty safe to say that the next time we see Samoa Joe in a good mood will be the first time we see Samoa Joe in a good mood. is looking quite full of himself tonight, guys. Uh, no more so than usual, though. I mean, let's be honest. The Miz is always full of himself, isn't he? And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about and guys memphis has been a hot bit of quick pin attempt here and there's the kick out by samoa joe still seems a little early there's breakers and then there's breakers that was the ladder as the action continues let's discuss samoa joe briefly you're the so-called expert so what can we expect from him tonight it's still early, but I really like his chances here tonight. He certainly looks more focused than I remember seeing him in recent weeks. Tonight, I expect him to be as sharp as he has been in a long time. God, what a stiff shot. And right on the mark. The Miz looking a little bit shaken. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. The Miz is looking to fly. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Everybody likes a showman, but I think Samoa Joe might be taking it a little too far here. Three. The Miz with a nice reversal. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Nice job by Samoa Joe. Oh, the reversal by the Miz.
back in the ring again. Oh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. Here is your winner, The Miz. And it's a count out victory here tonight. Come on, ref. Let it get back in there. Let's get a true winner. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Tag team action. And from behind. Oh, come on. They're trying to screw him before this match even begins. You can't be surprised. This is what needs to be done to make an impact in the tag team division. And there's no way that this team is going to be ready to go here. And the other guys are still outside screaming at him. And they love this. Of course they love it. They're the ones left standing. The referee ought to just call this one. Yeah, I agree. Matt Hardy's on the attack now. What do you think of Matt Hardy's performance as of late? What does he need to do to make sure his team comes out on top here? As you know, we're talking about somebody with a ton of talent. I'm not so sure I like the idea of it being showcased in a tag team. You gotta let talent like that shine on its own. He comes into this match on a team that looks poised for victory, but the opposing team looks ready to call their bluff. This should be a good one. Definitely not where you want to be right now. He's got to find a way to get out of this, Michael. The WWE Universe does not appreciate the actions of Jey Uso. Jey made it clear the ideology he subscribes to is survival of the fittest, only the strong survive. The colorful outfits, the cheers from the fans, and the war paint are long gone. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. As we get underway here, let me remind you that this is the same city that produced such greats as Jerry the King Lawler, Jackie Fargo, and Lance Russell. Look, Jimmy Uso's on the attack now. Byron, you know these guys better than anyone. In fact, you say you're responsible for their career. So it was shocking to witness Jay and Jimmy Uso turn their backs in the WWE Universe. But that was a long time ago, and it's clear Jay Uso is only concerned with doing what's best for him. And not just defeating his opponents, but taking them out of action completely. The WWE Universe can save their whining for someone else as far as I'm concerned. I think it's great that Jey Uso wants to take a more assertive role in his career. The happy colors, the high fives, the war paint, all gone. And I hope it never comes back. Blame Byron for that. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Plenty of force behind that elbow. Matt Hardy in with the tag. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Matt Hardy, big move coming. Oh, Matt Hardy comes up big there. This one's over, guys. And we have our winners.
Put it in the books. And there was no question about that one. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, Batista! Sounds like this crowd came to see Batista, Corey. Well, they didn't come to see Byron, I can tell you that. From Denver, Colorado, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. As we get underway here, let me remind you that this is the same city that produced such greats as Jerry the King Lawler, Jackie Fargo, and Lance Russell. Batista got him there. What do you have on Batista? How do you see him getting it done here tonight? Gonna take a lot to beat him tonight, Michael. From what I'm told, he's been spending extra hours in the gym in anticipation of getting in the ring with this guy. Both these guys know that in this business, every time you step in the ring, your reputation and career are on the line. Check out Lars Sullivan's offense. He goes down hard. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Lars Sullivan doing a great job of turning that around. Batista turns it around. Lars Sullivan beginning to stumble. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Beautiful counter from Lars Sullivan. He is a one-man gang in there. And there's the counter. Spine buster! Can he end it here? Things just went from bad to worse for Lars Sullivan. Can he score the pin? Wow, it doesn't get much closer than that. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Got him set up. This could be it, Corey. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And you can put this singles match in the books.
Here is your winner, Batista. A very decisive victory here tonight. This guy impressed the hell out of me tonight, Michael. What a victory. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.